Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode in my Minecraft survival world. Now today, today is the big day. Today is the day that we're going to be doing some absolutely amazing and technical and really complicated things which I have never done in Minecraft before and that is, um, well you know what it's going to be. It's going to be the Iron Titan today. That is what we're going to be doing. I mean we can only be doing the Iron Titan build because we are at the spawn chunks right now which I showed you earlier. Um, right behind me is the center of the spawn chunks and that is going to be um, where we're sort of going to be building the titan but it's not actually going to be there it is going to be all the way up into the sky um, above uh, sort of 64 blocks more than 64 blocks up into the sky because that's uh, because the village there it's going to be 64 blocks above that village basically because that village will combine with the villages up there in the Iron Titan if um, I don't build it high enough so that's the reason why we've got to build it up in the sky but apart from that I just like the idea of having a giant you know iron farm all the way up there in the sky as well and I'm sure Tango did too which is why he built his in the sky and I'm kind of copying him on that one but the whole idea um, with this is that I'm gonna try and do everything the way Tango did it because he did it in survival and um, I know that sounds kind of like unoriginal which it is um, but obviously I'm gonna start adding in my own touches and things um, with the storage system the storage room which is gonna be a whole nother task um, for another episode uh, but today I want to get the actual framework of the Titan done and I also want to add in the villagers and they are some of the you know the hardest tasks but I think the hardest task in itself with the Iron Titan is actually putting in the doors because that's going to take a long long time and it's going to take a lot of concentration because I've got a and that guy shouldn't definitely not be around here because that's going to be bad um, especially with all these chests but yeah as I was saying it's going to take a lot of concentration to place in the doors because um, you have to place them in a certain order and things but we'll get to that quite a bit later once I've built the framework but as you can see I've set up a few chests right here and um, you might be wondering what's inside them well um, you see I've got like a, a couple of pieces of wood that is nothing compared to the amount of wood in this chest I'm just gonna show you that oh that's that's not the wooden chest <laughs> okay well yeah okay this is the cobblestone and the dirt chest well I've got lots of cobblestone and dirt um, from all of the mining episodes. Well, that was a wrong chest. That was a bit um, anticlimactic right there, but this is how much wood we've got. Lots and lots of wood. Um, I didn't lie when I said I was going to chop down some obscure forest somewhere last episode. I really did go ahead with my axe, which I think is somewhere over here. Yeah, I renamed it to the Ent Smasher. I don't know why. I think it needs unbreaking as well, because that would be really useful, judging by the fact that I already had to repair it once. Um, and now it's pretty much dead again, so I'm gonna have to repair that. Um, but yeah, I mined up all of this wood right here. Um, this is gonna be for the doors and for the actual wooden planks that we're gonna be using to probably build the framework of the Titan, because you need different blocks, as I'll show you in a few moments once I get up there. And um, I've also got myself loads of glass smelting or sand smelting back at home which still needs to be smelted so I'm gonna have to wait for that I'm gonna have to go over there load the chunks and wait for that pretty soon the villagers are doing pretty much okay this is gonna be a really long intro by the looks of it but just stick with me so these villagers um, they're looking okay but they sort of don't seem to be taking the food very well um, because every time I give them food there are a few air blocks around the heads of these villagers and they kind of throw the food out and I think that's meant to be so they share the food but then what happens is the uh, the food kind of gets stuck um, in the air blocks a bit far uh, further away than sort of the space that they can reach and grab the food from so it's kind of like a bit weird it's a bit problematic I don't want to give them too much food but as you might have just caught a glimpse of in those chests I've got some more food to also feed these guys so hopefully um, by the time I need villagers we should have about 50 villagers because I'm gonna need quite a few and at least I can get some of the um, villager bits done you know because I could just take up how many villagers we are and put them into one cell or something like that but I think that's enough talking for now because I've made this into a really long intro uh, with loads of details thrown at you I'm pretty sorry about that um, but I think now it is time to get started so let's go um, Geronimo? Ah! <laughs> uh, oh god, that's scary. That's bad. Oh, man, that was scary. 
that sunset is just awesome and majestic right there I just love the, the look of that that is just really awesome and um, yeah I have made some progress um, on this well let me just call it a little sky block why not it just feels so much like a sky block on here because I've just been trying to shift and pl uh, place all of the blocks and stuff trying not to die but you've probably noticed my XP is quite low um, hmm wonder how that happened well you know you probably expected that I died by like falling off all of this you know and all the way down to my death actually I probably survive in the water there but um, no it was even more stupid than that because I actually um, yeah I was I was going up this ladder right um, which I made to this level and I was like yeah I was just going along and I was like yeah what would it be like to shoot yourself off here I know pretty pretty stupid right yeah really stupid and yeah don't try this at home guys this is dangerous so then I, sh I shot myself like like that and I obviously got bounced off the ladder but that's fine because I've been you know I've tried to be clever here and put loads of water down there um, but what I also had is um, a few ladders on the side of the uh, pillar here but just on the other sides like oh nope don't fall on the other sides of the block here on the other side of the pillar so I kind of fell on top of the ladders and died but that's not too much of a problem I knew I was gonna die eventually being me you know just doing stupid things in Minecraft I always die um, and yeah I just carried on from there and I built this thing so uh, this may look like a big shambles a big mess of um, wood dirt and stone right now and it is to some extent but it's actually a really well thought out um, plan for the Iron Titan where I'm going to be, uh, be placing the doors and things because uh, the dirt blocks here that you see are all the temporary blocks and so are well this entire bit from this bit of this line of dirt to this line of wood right here is all a temporary platform and we're going to be replacing that out um, later on uh, but that's for placing on all of the dirt blocks um, sorry, not the dirt blocks. That's for placing on all of the um, all of the doors. That's it. <laughs> well, wow, I'm going crazy. I'm just going crazy. It's really late at night right now, and I don't know why, but I'm just building this thing, and it's really fun. Uh, but I'm going a little bit crazy, so you're probably gonna have to excuse that. And uh, yeah, oh, the view from here is just really brilliant. It's really awesome. Um, but another bit of news um, in this progress update. It's pretty big progress update because I've got a lot done and. A lot of stupid things done as well because apart from killing myself yeah you won't believe it I killed my very last horse I'm not even joking I I actually don't try to do this kind of stuff I am just really sh I just hate horses now seriously every horse has died on me and I think it's my fault horses just don't like me but um I did kill another horse it drowned in the um, let me see if I can, in fact I should just have a look at it from here. It drowned in um, one of the water sources that I had, one of the infinite water sources. I just left it in there and I sort of dug it down to two blocks and then I realized that it couldn't get back up. I tried to dig it out and save it but it died, it drowned. At least I got the armor and the saddle back as always. You know, I'm just experienced with this now, you know. I know exactly how it feels because I've lost so many horses. Now I think of it, so many have been lost and it's, we're only on episode 8 in eight episodes I've lost all of my horses so that is going to be something um, to do to go gather some horses but yeah this is um, a lot of progress has been made and also um, the villager breeder don't want to fall off this thing I went over there and you can see that little bit of cobblestone that I've added that is um, where we're going to be funneling up the villagers all the way to um, this place um, where we're going to be putting them in special cells um, and well I've been having a few problems with the villager breeder still and I checked how many I had I only had 11 still so that means there is something wrong there's definitely something wrong around there and I think the thing is that the extra villagers that are being made are just floating around in the top bits um, of the funnel that I've created there so I tried to make it a little bit higher so that the villagers would float a bit higher and maybe they'd be out of range of that village down below with the six doors I think that's what the problem is so we need to get those villagers out of there basically and then we will um, have that fully operational hopefully but now I'm just gonna build out 
um, the actual more permanent or the wings I think uh, Tango Tech called them and they are the sort of areas we're going to be putting some doors on um, I think yeah far um, to the what is it the east and the west I think it is let's have a look so that is the east and that is the west yep uh, so we're going to be putting some um, extra platforms down there and I will be back after I've hopefully not died again and added in those platforms. Alright, so I've done a little bit more work here on the Iron Titan. I've got these walkways in and these little strips here which are the wings that I was talking about and um, here um, there is going to be a lot of doors placed basically on these. Um, and these dirt walkways are just obviously for walking um, across. They're not actually going to be part of the of the build in any way. They're just um, for walking across. And all of this dirt is basically temporary. But you know, maybe I'll replace it with something um, something proper in the future. I don't know. Uh, I don't really know about all of this. But I think um, I'm probably just going to leave it like this right now, and then figure out everything else um, a little bit later on. But yeah, the view from here is just pretty awesome from up here. I just love the view. Um, but yeah, so I've also added in this roof right here, and it hangs off one block from the edge of the Titan. And I've also added in some glowstone and some glass. And I think the glass is for um, direct sky access to certain doors, which will be placed in, you know, just underneath these uh, glass blocks. And I think the next thing I'm going to have to do is actually make um, a roof above this section, above the middle temporary block section um, of the of the thing. But the only problem is, I think the villagers, the villagers are really weird right now. I don't think um, they are, oh, barely made that. I, th I thought I was going to die then. But I did, I did try um, then again to add in that water stream. So that pretty much saved me there. Um, but yeah, these villagers, they are just... Um, they're just not breeding properly. I don't know why. There's something wrong. Uh, there's something that I've done wrong, and I need to figure that out because I've actually uh, got this um, cobblestone box that I showed you earlier that is actually going to transport them a little bit higher. So hopefully uh, that will solve the problem, I thought, but I don't know. I'm not really sure, and this doesn't seem to really be working that well. Um, all of the villagers in here, once I had, when I had the loop, um, they breeded really quickly and I got loads of them. They were definitely breeding obviously since we did get them but I just need to see um, how many villagers we actually have here and I think it is um, still, yeah, 23, ooh, 65? What? Has this worked? I think this could have just worked. It might have just done, done the trick, um, what I did before. But I think it's not 65 that we actually have. That's a bit insane because, yeah, 65 is in including all of those. Um, down below, I think. Um, maybe it is. I think uh, <laughs> it's very, very hard to get a good entity count um, on these villagers. So I'll never really know how many we have. Uh, but hopefully, you know, I'm just going to hope and say that we will have the right amount by the end of um, me finishing up the structure and things. And then um, hopefully we can just place these. Oh, God. <laughs> that was bad. That was bad. Typical me falling off things again um, but yeah once we actually get the um, right amount of villagers that's the only concern that I have for this build because if we don't have the right amount of villagers then this isn't going to work out properly so um, you know that's what I want to get done by this episode I want to get the villagers in and <laughs> look at this thing this looks pretty cool this looks pretty cool and also if you're wondering if you know um, a bit about the Iron Titan um, you'll know that it comes in the 32-bit version and the 64-bit version, um, or the 64-village version rather, not bits. Um, we're talking about villages here. So I am going to be building um, the 32 version because obviously I'm on a single-player world. Um, I don't need that much iron, like as you know, as much as the 64-bit version produces. I really don't need that much. So I'm going to be sticking with the, the half. Um, the half level version. I think it only requires one level, whereas a 64-bit version requires two levels. And let me just get back onto here. And I will be back after I have basically finished the entire frame. And that will involve putting in the roof that I said. And there might be another wing um, to the, you know, on the other side, on the opposite side to the wing that I've already added. 
Uh, but I'm not too sure about that. I've still got to watch the tutorial. I'm only actually um, nine minutes through, about nine and a half minutes through the tutorial, and I've done this much so far. Um, and the tutorial is like an hour long, so there's still a lot more to do, and I should probably be uh, taking a few less cuts and um, moving ahead a bit more quickly. Okay, so I have gone ahead and done a lot of progress since the last cut, and that is because it has been quite a while since the last cut, and I actually made um, a video in between making this video. So that's videoception for you. That is some weird YouTube stuff there. So um, I actually made that Minecraft tutorial video, which is now on my channel. So if you want to go check that out, then um, I'm not going to say a link will be in the description. I don't really think there is a point because I only have about nine or ten videos. I don't know how many videos I actually have, but yeah, you can go check that out. It's for the cactus farm. And now I have um, added in the roof here and the roof on that side and the roof on this side as well. I can't remember how much of it was um, in the last cut because um, I wasn't actually, well, the last cut was a long time ago um, from the, the time of recording this. Uh, so the next thing we actually have to do um, is go and put in the villagers and as you can see I have also been preparing for that which is why I said a lot of progress has been made because look at this giant water stream there it took me quite a while I was um, the last time I started recording I was playing until about quarter to 12 as in midnight or something and then I just kind of just made all of this preparation so I was probably a little bit tired back then and probably you know, did something wrong, so this is going to be a terrible fail. But I'll meet you um, over at that ladder there, because there's a ladder going all the way up, so I could actually place in all of the water streams and climb back up every time, go up and down, and I have loads of buckets on me still. Um, but yeah, I'll meet you over there, and then then we're going to figure out um, how we're actually going to do this villager, uh, get these villagers in. And I should probably explain this a little bit, actually. The um, water streams obviously come over from there there's one water elevator there which is just alternating signs and water buckets or just water I guess and that goes all the way up um, you remember we had that little bit at the bottom there I just extended that out and then I put in one water stream and did the same little classic technique there of going one block lower each time and then I um, sort of funneled them all the way into here obviously there aren't any here yet but that's what we're going to do now so probably should talk, uh, stop talking and get over there why do I have the feeling that this is a bad idea? I don't really think my plan is going to work here. It's, going to, it's a bit risky, to be honest. It's very risky. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm thinking, but I'm going to do it anyway, you know. I'm crazy and all that. Uh, but as you can see in the entities um, right there, we've got about 20, 23, something like that, villagers, which is exactly the amount we actually need, which is fantastic. So this thing is actually working. It was just me being... Um, quite a bit impatient, but now I need to figure out how to do this, and I think I think I've got the plan. Um, but the water is going to come out here, right? I think. Okay, my plan was to actually go in the water elevator and follow the villagers all the way up to top, and then escape before they actually sort of you know break a block and then get out of there. Um, and I think I'm going to stick with that. So what I'm going to do is put one block there so they can't escape from there. Then I'm going to go ahead and, am I rushing this? Am I ready? I don't, I don't even know. I know that, in fact, let me just put a sign. Wait, if I put a sign here, then, yeah, that should be okay. Um, that will stop the water from escaping there. I'm just going to put um, a torch there, just in case any mobs, like, randomly spawn. I don't know why that would happen. And then, this is going to be a bit of a, uh, a scary thing. I, I'm quite nervous. I don't want to lose these guys, you know, so... I hope they can't poke their heads into this water stream right here, but I'm going to be really quick about this anyway, so I should probably have the blocks ready. And I'll just put some dirt in here. So I'm going to go like that, and that was not quick at all, but it still worked. There we go. So now I just have to put one... Oh god, I'm falling down. Oh no. I shouldn't have done that. Okay, now it's going to be very hard <laughs> to locate. Yeah, I knew that this was going to be some embarrassing kind of thing like this. But I, I know it's going to be very hard now to locate the block because I'm trying to put, um, oh god, I'm going to try and put a, a water block here. This is going to be really embarrassing. I hope this isn't too bad to watch because it was pretty stupid what I just did there. I should have kept 
holding space and flying up. Oh god, this is just crazy. Okay, maybe uh, this is going to be hard. Okay, I can do it. I can do it. Eventually. I will be back after I've actually got these guys flying up um, in the <laughs> into the um, actual water stream because I don't think this is going to be a very good cut otherwise. Alright, I was finally able to do it and I'm finally going up the water stream here so that didn't actually take that long. I'm surprised. I was about to like break out and then you know, try something new, but it actually worked. That is weird. So my stupid mistakes just, you know, didn't, it wasn't much of a problem here. But right now we are going all the way up the water stream before the villagers can catch us. And this is, this is seeming pretty comfortable, pretty calm right now. And uh, at least I know what I'm doing. Villagers are such a trouble. Every time you do something with villagers, something does go wrong. You cannot plan for this. Oh, I swear, I wish villagers could just be like brought on leads or something. Oh, that might even be harder. That might e be even harder to do. Okay, so now I'm just going to escape from this uh, this water stream right here, and I, th I think I know where to where to escape from. I did make it clear to myself before. I put like a bunch of torches there. This is not looking good. I need to get out of here as soon as possible. Oh, forget it, forget it. I'm just going to go from like some random place. Why am I lagging? It's because of the rain. Stop raining. Okay, these guys can escape unless I just block this off right here. And also block this bit off right here. And we should be looking good. Okay, so they are coming through. That is awesome. Some of the very first villagers. Yeah, I was meant to escape here, I think. No, somewhere else. I don't know. I did, like, leave a special space. So it would be easy for me to escape. But never mind. So I've created this little um, platform here. This little balcony thing. And the villagers should stop. Right here, should probably put another block there just in case. And they should come down. Let's see how this works. I think I've left enough headroom and stuff for them to come down. So I'm going to I'm gonna just stay here until the first one comes down. And then I'll go and block off the end. So if any more villagers come, um, they won't hopefully go past. So these guys can't escape, I don't think. Right. So that, that is looking at about tw uh, 20 villagers, I think. Uh, which is awesome because that's the exact amount of villagers that we need. And now I think I'm just going to go and, like I say, block off. Um, ooh, yeah, it's, there's something really weird with the textures not loading in um, on my Minecraft. It's really weird how that happens and I need to solve the problem. Um, in fact, I should probably get rid of this. As you saw there again, the textures are just not loading in. It's really, oh, really laggy right now, really bad time to be moving villagers but you know what I'm gonna have to do it so okay I'm gonna go over here and um, right I've got all the villagers I don't really think there is anything left to do I think I can just let these guys rip and oh oh yeah because the water stream stopped from there oh of course that's that's bad I can't let that happen I need the water stream to carry on I, oh, I've been foolish again I've stopped the water stream at the wrong place I don't really I need the water stream to flow still, so this isn't going to work. I'm going to have to come up with another plan. Or all of these guys are going to escape. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure the block was broken there. So I'm just going to put something like this. Hopefully that should stop the villagers from coming through. I think that should. That should do the trick. So right. I'm sorry, this is going to be a really long cut again. It might not actually. I'm probably just going to break this block right here and let these guys in now. So let's see how this goes. I wish the water would just update, seriously. I can barely see whether any of my blocks are actually there or not, so yeah. Let's see how this thing works. Now, are these guys actually going into there, or have I made some serious mistake? No, that is awesome. We have got our very first villagers in there. And if we look at the entity counter again, we've got 18 so far. Just 18? 15? It's a bit strange. We should have more than that. I'm pretty sure we must have more entities than that here. 16, alright. So, that's 16. There should be more than that. There should be about 20. Ah, so there we are. Look at those guys. They, they were being sneaky. They didn't want to come in. But nope, they have to. They're going to have to come in now. And I don't know what it is here. How come the, the rest of the villagers were able to come through? Yeah, there you go. I think they were just they were just messing around over there in the corner. But now we pretty much have um, the right amount of villagers, I think. If this is... 
Where's the other guy gone? I swear there was two. I just saw two. What's... Where's he gone? Is he down here? <sighs> this is just crazy. Every time... Villagers are just crazy. I hope he hasn't like fell to his death or something. That would be really bad. Right, so the situation is like this. We have exactly 19 villagers inside here, if you look at the entity count in the top left-hand corner again. So um, we need a couple more, literally two more villagers. So what I'm going to have to do is do this pretty much off-camera. Um, I'm going to have to breed up a couple more villagers. I just need two. Shouldn't take too long, probably about like 20 minutes or 10, 20 minutes. That is actually quite long, um, considering that. I want to get this episode made pretty soon and I've still got a long way to go so um, I'm probably just gonna have to do this off camera and wait for these guys to breed up and then I will bring them um, up and then I can move the water stream to the next location which I think is on the other side where we're gonna put the rest of the villagers so we're still gonna do this all over again basically um, but it will probably be a little bit easier but it's just gonna take really long for all of those villagers to breed up because that is oh, that is just a really long process so I'm gonna try and feed the villagers down there in the breeder as much as I can and that should probably solve the problem and I thought that my villager problems couldn't get any worse but I was wrong because you know you're always wrong in Minecraft so look at the problem we have here the villagers are meant to be down there with a glass block in their head but somehow they're up there I don't even know how that happened. How can they even escape? It's pretty much meant to be impossible. That's how it's been designed. But they've escaped. So yeah, that explains why we didn't have enough villagers. Like, there should have been more. Um, but somehow they got there. I, I don't know what's going on here. I don't know, really. Uh, so I'm going to have to figure out the problem. Okay, so... Surely it's got nothing to do with this this item elevator, uh, no, this mob elevator, I don't think it actually has anything to do with that but I'm gonna have to figure out the problem because this will be pretty major, pretty serious if um, we don't stop it from happening okay so I seem to have solved the problem right here um, what I did is I broke the glass block that those guys were standing on on the top and I, that means they all fought, fell into the water, so it was back to normal. Um, then I actually used a dropper to take back the water, so I just pressed the button. And after that, I shoved another glass block into all of their heads, because, you know, as a punishment for being so naughty, for annoying me so much, I just um, put another glass block in there, and that seemed to do the trick. And then after that, um, I actually replaced the one block air holes that we have uh, that we had before because uh, there were four air block holes one on each each side like this um, sort of right next to the heads of the villagers and I, as I said in a previous cut at some point um, all of the food was being wasted because they kept chucking the food out too far and then it would be wasted because it would just despawn and they were meant to be so that the villagers would be able to share the food but it seems here that they're sharing the food just fine, so I don't know if that's a problem with Unary Bits design, although I must say it was an awesome tutorial, but I don't know, maybe something like it's been patched or something, and now if they have a one block hole, you know, they can f they can throw the food further, I don't know. Um, but something, um, you know, was wrong with that. Um, maybe it was how I built it um, was wrong, I must have made some mistake probably. Uh, but now that's fixed because um, none of the food is wasted as you can see they pick it up and they share it pretty well so that should make the breeding rates a lot faster hopefully and we should get our villagers okay so I've been making a lot of progress again um, lots of progress has been made and that's because we have exactly 22 villagers in here which is exactly the amount we need apart from that um, that didn't take too long by the way what I did is uh, I went down and sort of locked myself in a little room down there and I right clicked on a crafting table and then a, um, alt tabbed out of the window and that means that you can AFK in there so I fed the the villagers and all that and then they started breeding and yeah you'll probably notice you, you can't see it from here but we've got a few up there and uh, that's for the next thing I'm gonna do and um, yeah they started breeding and I figured out what the problem was with the villager breeder uh, the fact that all of the villagers kept floating out um, and I use the word floating because 
Um, I mean, out of the glass block, by the way. And that's because um, when I broke the block down there, exactly where the crosshair is, um, the water stream, the water from there would fall down all the way to the bottom and that went straight through um, the hole and it floated up some of the or the, some of the villagers floated up um, from inside the breeding chamber thing um, even though a glass block was inside their heads because their heads are a little bit bigger um, than two blocks a bit taller you know they're a bit t taller than two blocks so then they came out of there and that's why there were loads of villagers on top of the glass block instead of where they um, should be so I covered that hole up and so we shouldn't get that problem even if water does fall down but I don't think water is going to fall down now because we, we're going to actually do um, the next and pretty much well I think we've got one more villager chamber to make one more villager chamber to do but uh, this is pretty much the last one uh, the last major one because we have two villager cells or holding cells there's one there the one that we just filled up and then there's the other one so I've clearly made um, the water stream going to that one and you know what that means some more villager shenanigans yes we are gonna be putting the rest of them in and this is how many have been breeded up I don't know how much that is um, but I hope it's just just about the right amount that we need so I'm just gonna let these guys all loose I'm gonna let them all go through and I think it should be enough it should be the right amount and this is just pretty brilliant I mean I didn't even plan any of this because um, I didn't expect these guys to be able to um, breed that fast but I gave them loads of food before and the fact that I um, closed up the glass blocks like I said um, the holes around their heads that really made a big difference now I have a feeling that this isn't going to be exactly 20 but then I'm going to go um, off camera between episodes I think and fill up the rest of the villagers in here that shouldn't take too long and this is a little mob elevator that we've got going and that should um, take these guys going up uh, into the next water stream and hopefully all of this works because I hope they don't yeah that's perfect that's perfect I hope they don't get traps or something there's still villagers over there okay we might actually have 20 you know we might actually have 20 right so let's see if this is working or not yep pretty much working there pretty much working there now these guys should should be falling should be over here yeah awesome right we've got our first one second Ooh, they take a bit of damage it's bad it depends whether they're sort of jumping up or not but it doesn't really matter to be honest I don't think they're gonna die necessarily so we shouldn't have that as a problem I'm just gonna keep the entity counter open 38 that's insane we need a lot less than wait a sec that was a very inaccurate count wasn't it the thing that I hate about entity counts is they're very very inaccurate every time okay nine that's more <laughs> that's more um, like it 38 was a bit out there to be honest um nine oh, I really hate this noise I this is very very loud I should have probably done this before but there we go that's a little bit better so uh, so far we've got nine and no more seem to be falling through by the looks of it that's a bit strange I'm, I'm just gonna check um, whether we've lost any villagers or whether some are still just going through yeah some are all the way over there so I'm just gonna get all of these in uh, to the cell and then I'm gonna see how much we have in total so I should probably stop saying some more progress has been made now because we uh, just keep making progress in between cuts and I don't even intend to do most of the progress but I just do it anyway and uh, that's because we've been having uh, more than enough villagers coming up from the breeder because I gave them loads of food and now we're basically done um, and I'm going to show you the progress I've made in a sec but here you can see in the entities again we have exactly 21 villagers which is awesome so that's done the other pod is done and another thing that is just almost done is well first of all I've got rid of the um, ugly water stream that was coming all the way down here across here it's all gone and things are looking nice and clean again oh, and I'm really excited because we can soon start placing in the doors we only have four more villagers or three more villagers to get into that um, that pod right there which I made and I also added in these little um, roofs for the doors uh, so I have made a lot of progress and I redirected the stream um, all the way down into this cell here I've got one villager in there so far and the rest of them I thought I'd do on camera because otherwise I would just be basically doing everything off camera and we only have about three more to get in everything is prepared all I have to do is break a block 
and then we will be done. We will actually be done with the villagers, and I cannot wait until that moment. So, um, we've actually still got some more up here. Like, like this guy is unneeded, and here we go. These are the three. Yeah, perfect. Or four. Yeah, we've got four here. I don't know whether we actually need four or not. Because there's already one in there, you can have a maximum of five. So that is the maximum. I don't want to usually um, do the actual maxim maximum amount of villagers. I usually want to have a little bit less. But we're probably going to be alright with just putting the full five in there. So <laughs> here goes nothing. I, if I'm wrong, then we can. I guess we could we could do this again probably. But oh. And it's the one there. There we go. And these guys are going down into the pod. Finally, oh, I've been waiting for this moment. This is the last villagers, the last, the last villagers ever to come on the Iron Titan. One, two, three, and I think I'll just block it off there. You know, instead of actually adding in the last villager. Yeah, it's probably best. Oh, I'm not really sure because. I don't know anything about villager mechanics and um, in Minecraft. Do you know what? I'm just going to let him go. <laughs> he wants to join his friends. Let him go. <laughs> okay, so that's it. That is the last villager. So we should have exactly five villagers in there. We shouldn't have any more than five. If we do, then we're going to have a little bit of a problem. But I doubt we have any more. So let's get. Let's have a look. I think. Um, yeah, there's some blocks in there. So that will increase the entity count. So we have six but we have five really. We don't actually have six. Let's see if I can go and uh, take those take those blocks out of there and then we'll probably get a little bit more of an accurate count. Can I pick up those blocks? Um, the entities are five now. Yeah there we go. Perfect. So five villagers right here. We are done. We're done with the villagers. That is amazing. And we're pretty much done for the episode as well. Um, now I'm just going to get rid of this big water stream. In fact, I can chop down the whole thing now, and that is going to be quite satisfying just to know that we've got all of the villagers in. And then I think we will be at the end of the episode, so it's been a really fun one today. Can you hear that? That is the sound of many, many, many villagers, because we have just finished bringing them in. And we're actually done. You can see the one in the distance all the way over there. And you can see the one closer. And the one on the other side as well. So we have got all of the villagers in. I'm really happy. I've actually gone and torn out the um, big water stream thing. And all of the water streams. Everything is looking nice and um, lovely. If I just take you over to have a look. Everything's taken out. And it... It looks really awesome. Is this the right place? Yeah, there we go. So the whole thing's gone and I mean I should have used my efficiency pick uh, with that but I didn't even bring it over. I just used a couple of iron pickaxes. Um, but that seemed to work really well and now we have come. We have come to the end of the episode. So I think I'm going to end it right here. Thank you very much for watching. Please do be sure to leave um, a like or a comment. Um, it would be a big help as I always say and um, you know if you are just passing by the channel and you just think that all this stuff is looking pretty good and you like the sound of things on this channel then please be sure to subscribe um, if you want to see more in the future because it would be a big help and I will see you in the next one.